Hello YouTube, this is gonna be a weird video for me. Aaron challenged me to try uh, shaving my face. Uh, this, I haven't sharpened it. It's got a 20-25 degree micro bevel normal sharpening. I just stopped it. This is not going to end well. If I end up bloody and uh, need to go to the emergency room, we can all thanks Aaron. Okay, it's Aaron fault. I have just prepped the soap. I'm using Imperial. I really like it. I've had a dash of barber cream, just a tiny bit of UF Trumper sandalwood shaving cream, and a few drops of the Imperial pre shave oil. I'm just soaking my brush. It's a synthetic one from Mule, the silver tip synthetic. And I need to be watching the camera while I shave. I, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything bad about you, Aaron, because you're truly a fantastic guy. But yeah, <laughs> don't challenge me again. I'm just gonna wet my face. And get it uh, somewhat warm. I haven't prepped or anything. This is gonna be a hard and gritty shave. My beard is pretty light. I actually got beard. It just can't barely show. You can see it in my skin, but I actually, I don't know. Can you hear it? It's pretty light, so it's a two, three days beard. Just gonna prep this into this with my uh, brush. It's not a real silver tip, as I said, it's a Mule synthetic one. It's too bad you can't smell it because with the oil and uh, the shaving cream in combination with the soap it smells fantastic. That's all I need. And I don't rinse out this. I just turn on the lid and use it another time. I use that or a Mule Sandalwood in an electro mug. The GOF Trumper or the Taylor Fold Bond Shaving Cream. So yeah, I'm gonna let her up, just wet my fingers a little more, and Aaron, if I turn up bloody, yeah. And this is weird to do <laughs> on the camera because everything got turned um, opposite way, so this looks like my right hand, but it's my left, it turns everything mirrored so it's hard as hell doing this got a tiny tiny um, bathroom so it's really hard to film here I'm just sorry, I'm used to looking at the mirror, cleaning off my lips, and getting it out of my ear. It's hard to do this because the screen is tiny, but here we go. If all goes to hell, I have my lovely Mule Roca. Rocka with the uh, Astra blade. Yeah. Original edge just stopped. That's coarse. Holy hell, that's coarse. That feels like dragging sandpaper across my face. So 
So yeah, um, and the foam has actually gotten dry. So we are wetting it a little. This is extremely hard to do since I can't see shit. Oh yes, contact one pass. And clean up with my D eraser. This is just tricky if it's removing uh, hair. I can clearly see it is. You see here. So yeah, that's about all I'm uh, finished. I'm not gonna mutilate myself. It's clearly working as I see on my chin. And you see no hair there, or a little there, but it works. I'm not gonna risk cutting myself. I'm not crazy either. Oh. You can clearly see it working. I got a little stubble here and there, but hey, that's plenty good. So, I am really rock on next. And it's hard because everything is the other way around. Yeah, that's barely removing hair. So, like, yeah, shiny cleaver, it did remove hair because I can barely hear it. I nicked myself with the cleaver hair, but yeah. There is actually not anything on my chin. The, um, the shiny cleaver did remove that. And my um, chin there, it's so extremely coarse there first pass I got the extremely coarse in there so you can barely see it but Trust me, I'm just gonna wash it and rub the salt in. There, you can see I'm pretty smooth on my cheeks. I need to do a little clean up at my chin. That's normal. Where it goes. I'm gonna be getting a straight racer soon. And that video is gonna be in Norwegian. I got some sponsor things and then I'm doing the videos in Norwegian and uh, later in English. So, yeah.
This is bought at Norwegian Barber Shop. Not that no. Great stuff. Now I'm not doing against grain on my shin since that irritates me too much. But on my cheeks, it's not a problem. Need to find another way. Filming a mirror or something. Because this ain't working. And with a straight razor, it's gonna go straight to hell. Nicked myself there too. I need to set it up so I can film the mirror. I never got myself while shaving before. I look like a 10 year old kid with, who has nicked his parents' um, yeah, shaving supply. I'm gonna try changing the camera. Does that work there? See me in the camera there. This is hard to see. Can you know? Maybe not. No, you can't. If I do like this. Sorry about this. It's just a test video. So. Lobby, bear belly. There, you can see that right. Yeah, I'm hoping you can. Weird angle. But hey, let's make it work. Just cleaning up the shin. So much easier when you used to the angle. Just feeling where there's some air. Putting up those, uh, a little there, and uh, yeah, that's pretty close shaven. Just rinsing off, laying that away. And this is important, people say rinse with cold water. Well, I first make sure to get every piece of that shaving soap well because that can really dry out and irritate your skin then I'll just do a quick rinse while the water is on my face lifting up out that shaving soap apologies for this flabby fat old piece of meat
So our it did remove um, here to shine this cleaver, but if I did continue, it would <laughs> remove skin too. So partly a success, mostly a fail. Just shaking that, cutting off the warm water so it gets cold, and it needs to be cold to close to pores and to stop eventual bleeding I never cut myself for a bleed but so the alcohol aftershave I'm gonna put on is gonna sting like hell but hey I'm a man so I'm trick it so just winning so yeah, you are in view. I got man boobs too. What am I gonna use today? I'm gonna use some Prurasso for the sting. I like that. Oi. Where the hell did that went? Where I like the sting. I'm putting on a good amount. This is nearly pure alcohol. Can you see that? But yeah. Mmm, it stains. I like that. Do the alcohol first and a touch of this. Luxury. This is a strong smelling, so I just use three, four drops. I put on the alcohol first, then whatever later. I don't care about pain. I've been a martial artist for so long. And then for the skin, this is great stuff. This is great. The uh, GOF Trumper Skin Food. I use about a little pea sized or uh, almond, almond sized just drop in my hand. I just rub that in. And that I use over my entire face. Except for the eyes, of course, I use it on the nose, back of the neck, I run a little into my hair to smell good. And I do like this. Oh, I'm lemon. Oh, because it stings a little. So, I also got this. This is the one thing I don't like from uh, Imperial. Bergamot aftershave. We got L'Oreal, which is fact, uh, it's pretty nice. L'Oreal, I got uh, this is actually pretty good. I can slap on a tiny bit of that too. Moisturizing. So let's go bananas. This is a bit citrusy, so it smells good. I really, really rub it in and I can see my wounds have closed and I wash my hand or around my lips that on and I go like this I am eating it isn't bad uh, Toxic, but it doesn't taste great. I just eat some little soap just to get it off. Yes, I rub myself into the eyes and such. There. And uh, that's it. So, yeah. How do you like that, Aaron? Ah, uh, fresh. Cleanly shaven god. Oh, that's for Iron. Oh, 
Thanks for watching guys, please please press like, subscribe and follow the channel. I'm out. Peace.